This week in our news roundup, we have Arundhati Bhattacharya emerging a strong contender for the role of the RBI governor. There's the cab aggregators tussle and flip cards in the news yet again. Let's find out what was brewing in the startup world this week. Since Raghuram Rajan announced that he would not continue for the second term, we couldn't help but wonder who the successor would be. According to reports in the Daily Bhaskar, Arundhati Bhattacharya could replace Raghuram Rajan and create history by becoming India's first woman RBI governor. By this August, Flipkart is planning to make a comeback with its own brand of products. Making a few tweaks to its earlier private label, the e-commerce giant is reportedly launching its in-house brands in jewellery, mobile, fashion accessories and other categories. These brands will be licensed to various other sellers as well. Lending Cart has raised $32 million in its Series B round, taking the total amount of funding to $41 million till date. Out of the $32 million, $20 million was raised as equity and the rest $12 million as debt. The fresh round of fund was led by Bertelsmann India Investments with participation from Barron Capital Management and existing investors. This capital will be used to strengthen its data science capabilities while enhancing its tech platform and infrastructure. The Karnataka High Court has adjourned the hearing of Uber's plea for amending Karnataka on-demand transportation aggregators rule till Monday, July 4th. Uber has asked for amendments in taxi signs, meter and printer. The status quo will continue till then. Ola has also accused Uber of offering private vehicles, those with no valid contract carriage permit, to user riders on its platform under the guise of carpooling. Brand Capital, an investment arm of Bennett Coleman Co., has invested Rs 150 crore on taxi service Meru Cabs. Meru will use the funds to further strengthen foothold in the Indian market with a focus on providing quality service based on a sustainable business model. Since May 2015, when Meru last raised Rs 300 crores from its existing investors, it expanded its services to 24 additional cities, launched four unique services and grew its fleet size to 20,000 vehicles. That was a wrap from our end. We will catch up with you next week with more action from the startup world. Till then, to get your daily dose of news, click the subscribe link or subscribe to Your Story TV.